Hello, my name is Maria Miller and in this video I want to show you a way to teach the zero exponent. And most school books just announce it plain like this in a box or something that x to the zeroth power is 1. And I call it announced mathematics where students are just given the rules on a platter without any justification. So let's not do that, I have a better way in mind and uh, let's just get rid of this here and pretend that students actually don't know it yet. We're going to use a pattern and you should write these patterns on board with several numbers for your students, mm -hmm. with 10 for sure and a few others. I just don't have more space. And then start working with them from the easiest one up, like this. Students already know that 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, so they can fill this in. And after that, we're going to look at the pattern from up down what happens at each step from 16 to 8 in this step it gets divided by 2 right and in this step also from 8 to 4 it's divided by 2 here too and here in the last step logically what happens is we divide by 2 one more time and so the answer is 1 that was all logical and now we do the same, or you do the same with this number and others. 5 to the first power is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. This is 125, and here is 625. And the same thing happens since we were multiplying by 5 in each step this way. Then this way we are dividing by 5 each time. And in this step also, we divide by 5. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. Let's look at it a little bit more. What would 7 multiplied by itself 0 times be? And this time we are going to use the law for multiplication of powers. Students, assuming students have already studied this idea that if you have 7 to the 3rd power and 7 to the 8th, here's 7 times 7 times 7 and here's 7 multiplied by itself 8 times, so surely the answer is 7 multiplied by itself 11 times. You just add the exponent. 3 plus 8 is 11. So using this with the 7 to the 0 of power, what do we get? We have 7 to some power, 7 to the 3rd, and 7 to the 0 And if we add the exponents, the law would say that it's a 3 on this side. But now we have an equation here where there's the same number here, and the same number here. So this number multiplied by what gives the same number? This here must equal 1 for it to be true. And if your students are to that level, then by all means use variables also, instead of specific numbers. And have x to some power, and then x to the zeroth power. And when you're adding the exponents, a plus zero is a. And therefore this here, it must equal one, because you have the same number here and here. Nothing else, else works except one. And that's just another way of justifying this, that any number to the zeroth power equals 1, instead of just plain announcing it to the students and letting them do lots of exercises after that.